स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सॉल्व दिस इरोडो प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1.78 अ वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हाई स्टैंडर्ड लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम इन द अरेंजमेंट शोन इन फिगर द मासेस ऑफ द वेज एम एंड द बॉडी एम आर नोन दिस इज द फिगर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वेज हैविंग मास कैपिटल एम एंड दिस इज अ ब्लॉक हैविंग मास स्मॉल एम द एप्रिसिएबल फ्रिक्शन एग्जिस्ट ओनली बिटवीन द वेज एंड द बॉडी एम सो इन बिटवीन दिज टू बॉडीज देयर इज अ फ्रिक्शन द फ्रिक्शन कोफिशियंट बींग इक्वल टू के सो द कोफिशियंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन दिज टू बॉडीज इज के द मासेस ऑफ द पुली एंड द थ्रेड आर नेग्लिजिबल सो दिस पुली इज मासलेस दिस पुली इज मासलेस एंड दिस थ्रेड इज मासलेस find the acceleration of the body m relative to the horizontal surface on which the wedge slide so this wedge slide on this horizontal surface we have to calculate the acceleration of this block with respect to this surface it means that we have to calculate the acceleration of this block with respect to ground okay now this surface is smooth there is no friction between this wedge and horizontal surface what to do in question the figure is this so let me first understand this pulley is part of the wedge and this pulley is also the part of wedge now let me first assume that this wedge is moving in plus x direction with acceleration a what happen when this wedge move with acceleration a this pulley will also move in x direction with acceleration a this pulley will also move in x direction with acceleration a and this block is in contact with the wedge so this block also move in x direction with acceleration a as this wedge go in the right direction the thread becomes loose and this block will go in downward direction so what is the acceleration in downward direction i don't know so we have to consider the situation in which 1 2 3 4 5 five objects are moving so if i consider the actual situation we have to got five equations so it is very difficult to solve these five equations so i apply a trick what is the trick if somehow i maintain this wedge at rest then if this wedge is at rest then this pulley is at rest this pulley is at rest but this block can move only in y direction and this fixed part will move so when this wedge is at rest only two objects move this block and this fixed part so i calculate the motion with respect to the wedge so motion with respect to the wedge so now wedge is at rest so when wedge is at rest this pulley is at rest and this pulley is at rest but this point will move in minus y direction with acceleration a so what happen when this point move with acceleration a this part of the rope move in y direction with acceleration a as this pulley is fixed so this part will move in downward direction so the acceleration of this block in downward direction is also a so now we know that with respect to the wedge acceleration of this block in y direction is a okay now how to find the value of acceleration a for that we have to draw the free body diagram if i draw the free body diagram of this a small block then mg will act in downward direction 
yes tension force will act in upward direction tension is in upward direction and the acceleration of this block is in downward direction so friction force will act in upward direction friction force will act in upward direction as i draw the free body diagram of this block with respect to wedge but actually wedge is a non inertial reference frame and having acceleration a so a pseudo force we must apply on this small block the direction of pseudo force is always opposite to the acceleration of frame so acceleration of frame is in plus x direction so pseudo force must act in minus x direction having magnitude m into a now this is the contact surface so a normal reaction must act in this direction now let me call it n1 so what is the friction force friction force should be equal to coefficient into normal so coefficient k into n1 now what is the value of <coughs> n1 there is no motion of this block <coughs> in x direction so n1 must be equal to ma so n1 must be equal to m into a now acceleration in y direction is a so apply the newton's law mg minus t minus k n1 force should be equal to mass into acceleration so this is my first equation and what is the value of n1 ma put this n1 so mg minus t minus k m into a equal to m into a now rearrange <coughs> the equation so mg minus t should be equal to k plus 1 into m into a so this is the equation but from this only one equation i cannot find the two unknown t and a so i need one more equation to calculate uh, to find one more equation i must draw the free body diagram of this wedge so the free body diagram of wedge mg will act in downward direction but we have to consider only the motion of this wedge in x direction so there is no need to draw the forces in y direction we have to draw the forces only in x direction so one force is applied by this block onto this wedge which is normal so n1 so n1 will act in minus x direction yes this is n1 the friction will act but friction will act in this direction so this is y direction force so we don't need to draw now what are other horizontal forces this tension is in y direction this tension is in y direction this tension is in y direction but this tension is in x direction so there is a tension force in x direction now due to these two forces wedge move in plus x direction having acceleration a so what is the equation equation is t minus normal what is normal m into a force should be equal to mass into acceleration mass of this wedge is capital m so this but this is a small m this is the value of n1 n1 is ma now these two equation with these two equations i can find the value of acceleration for that we just need to add these two equations so t will cancel out and the equation becomes m g minus m into a should be equal to k plus 1 into m into a plus capital m into a now rearrange the equation so mg equal to k plus 2 into m into a plus m into a the acceleration a is 
द एक्सलेशन ए इक्वल टू स्मॉल एम डिवाइडेड बाय के प्लस टू इंटू एम प्लस कैपिटल एम इंटू जी सो दिस इज द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ वेज दिस इज नॉट द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक बट दिस इज द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ वेज दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए नाउ वट इज द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक नाउ सी we have to calculate the acceleration of this block with respect to ground but what is the acceleration of this block with respect to wedge with respect to wedge this block is moving down with acceleration a and wedge is moving in plus x direction with acceleration a as the wedge move in plus x direction with acceleration a due to this surface due to this contact this block will also having an acceleration in x direction of magnitude a so the resultant of this to acceleration should be in this direction having magnitude root 2 into a so the acceleration of this block with respect to ground has answer root 2 into a what is a this number so root 2 mg divided by k plus 2 into m plus capital m so this is my final answer